Hi, I'm Stuart Ballantyne. After seven years at sea as a navigator on passenger cargo ships, I studied ship design and for the rest of my career ran a ship design group. Imagine this magnificent ship is yours and you have designed it and is being built, but we need to power it. All ships over the last 2000 years were designed and built around their propulsion systems. As a ship designer, my power source of choices at the moment are wind, diesel, hydrogen, LNG, methanol, hydrogen or nuclear. In 2022, today, my recommendation to the owner is to go nuclear. Using only 22 kilograms of uranium, the equivalent of a loaded suitcase, this will propel a ship of this size at 20 knots around the world 14 times with no emissions. Tied up in a port, this ship can also power a small city of 5,000 to 7,000 houses. No other power system comes close. But if the owner says that some of the passengers and crew would like the ship propelled with renewable energy, I will remind the owner about those resources. Wind, for instance, was popular for hundreds of years. But as you can't control the wind speed or direction, many vessels end up on the rocks. Many sailing vessels sitting idle in calm conditions were ideal targets for pirates who would gleefully kill everyone on board and steal all the valuables, including the ship. For defense, history records that sailing warships were absolutely no match for powered warships. Check for yourself. Renewable energy warships are a total nonsense. Now we have to manage your vessel with a competent, experienced captain, an experienced crew, and train up people to continue the ship's future. No ship's crews are selected on the base of gender, race, or religion. It is all about people with certificates of competency. Let's compare this nation to a ship. If we have to responsibly take it into the future, we have to embrace a steady power source, ideally with minimal emissions. The options again are coal, diesel, hydrogen, LNG, wind, solar or nuclear. My recommendation as an experienced design engineer is for the nation to use nuclear. A whole series of small modular reactors, SMRs, will power the nation with no emissions. The next important issue is defense. A nation with ample nuclear power can economically power steel mills, aluminium refineries, building of ships, aircraft, and manufacturing. Renewable energy for industrial manufacturing is a total nonsense and leaves the nation weak and isolated, an easy target for modern day pirates or potential invaders. What about management? Should we elect people to leadership because of their race, religion, or color, or their belief in unproven science, global warming, sea level rises, or the man in the moon? No. We need to elect someone with spine, experience. If you see any political party with the headline policies, including nuclear power for the nation, tackling the nation's huge debt, boosting defense manufacturing, implementing nation-building schemes, consider voting for them. However, if you are always angry and unhappy about this nation, generally, please do us a favor and leave the place. Also, if you have the urge to vote for the Greens, I strongly suggest you run your head into a brick wall until that urge subsides. Authorized by Matt Carroll, Senior Vice President, MTG.